only to open again when chaos rearranges us. Oh, wow. When chaos rearranges us. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about feeling powerless. But <laughs> no, no. But you yeah. claim, you wait, you know chaos is going to do it. There's you know they are. Power. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get you. <laughs> I was reading something that Yama Van Sant wrote uh -huh. about, she said, one of our things in life is just to clean up the mess. Just clean up the little messes I when we can. I love that. Just to clean, clean up the mess. That. Oh, I love clean that. Oh, I love that. I'm so glad you told me that. I think that's really great. But you're saying the opposite. Yeah. You said it'll be, the mess will rearrange us. That's it. <laughs> well, the, and, the, and of course, as she says, the, the, thing, the duty is to just go back and clean it up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, a pendulum. It is that. Um, I want to ask you about digital books. Mm. I saw a wonderful thing on uh, TED Talks this morning. Ooh. A digital book can actually play with the flat screen and pick out pictures, fold them, move them. You tap on it and you get audio as well. You can move it down to the bottom menu and read while you're listening to it was amazing someone made this oh uh, my gosh this new application is trying to sell it to book publishers but so i wanted to know gee that's would fantastic. you consider putting your books or getting into it there uh i think three of the books are on digital now they're available for kindle and um yeah yeah uh i I think I'm glad anyway that anyone will re will read poetry. I mean, if I you know if it mm -hmm. if it means that somebody's actually going to pick up a poem and read it and think, yeah. hey, I I don't have to be you know I don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this. And if if Kindle means that more people will do that, yay! I'm I'm happy for that. I had the best experience at, at the reading the other night. A young man came up afterwards and said to me. I, I've never been to a poetry reading, I've never read poetry, and I'm going to buy my first book of poetry right now. And I thought, oh, somebody introduced to poetry, and I, I mean, I thought, I thought that's wonderful because if he, if he likes that, he'll go on to other things. It'll, you know, he'll explore other, other poets, he'll think, gee, if I like that. So, yeah, digital's okay, it's all right. If, if it means that people are going to read, yeah. Personally, I like a book. I like the pages. I like the way it smells and feels. But, you know, if, yes. if techies want to read it that way, you know. I agree with you, though. There's something almost underground about wanting to maintain paper. Yes. there. That's a perfect way to put it. It is. Can I use that in a poem? <laughs> underground. I like that. Um, yeah, this, it's really terrific. It, that it is. There's something almost subversive about wanting our, 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 nice, our nice covers and our ability to turn the pages and fold one down or whatever, you know, write on them. Whatever. I mean, I'm even thinking mimeograph copies and, you know, back in the day. Yeah. And have one poet, one yeah. volume of your work and mail it to each other around yeah. the world. Exactly. So not to cut too many trees. Yeah, exactly. Maybe one. Right. Uh, all right. What's new in your life that's grabbing your imagination in space? Oh, a couple of interesting things. Um, we, been, we made a new friend whose partner is deaf, and I oh. started trying to learn signing. And it's uh -huh. so much fun. I'm not very good at it, but it's so much fun trying to learn and, and trying to memorize you know, the, the different signs for things. So. Whenever I see him, I try to practice a new, some new signing on him, and that's been that's been really really exciting for me and, and a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a new language. It really, in Israel, the signing in it, Israel the signing is different than America. I was once a part of a puppet show, uh, Kids on the Block, that worked with retarded puppets, deaf puppets, blind puppets, and we had to learn sign language. And I kept trying to do my homework by going online. I could never find the right signs because in English, it's not what it is in Hebrew. Oh my so gosh. Quite that was something that was very interesting to me. I sort of had the idea that all signing was universal. 
but it's but, it should be yeah but it isn't yeah. it's like it's very different and um and that was fun I, I thought oh my gosh so you know those people still have to learn a new language either way but that's I'm I'm really trying to learn it and I and it's um I'm having a lot of fun with it if I never if I never get past how are you and I love you I'll be all right but it is it is fun how do you say I love you you sit mm. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Someone yeah. used it. We didn't believe it. Yeah, I love you. That's yeah. Or you know, you can. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, and uh, I learned um, you're handsome or you're beautiful. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I, you know, I've learned a couple of things, but um, it's fun. I'm having a good time with it. It's kinesthetic. It's another way of using your brain. It's brilliant. yeah. Feels like dancing. Yeah, it excellent. does, and, and I love it when I watch when I watch two people who do sign it, with each yeah. other, like this guy and his partner. It is just like watching a dance. It's the most delightful thing. I love it. I remember watching two people on a bus. That was beautiful. They were sitting on either side of the aisle signing. Isn't that and neat? Yes. I love. I wish I knew. And fast, they just go so fast. It's just amazing to me, but I love it. Fingers flying. I just love that. That's a good idea. Um.